homecoming queen, Courtney Pearson. One of my very good friends came up to me a couple of days after I won and was like, you know, I had no idea that you would be the first African-American homecoming queen. He was like, but that's not why I voted for you. I voted for you because I liked you. I thought you were deserving. I thought you were the best candidate. And I think that those same qualities are in all four of us, Kayla, Kim, Tor, and myself, is that the student body didn't look at our race. They said these are the most deserving candidates. And they took that and they said, well, we don't. I really don't con think that race was even considered until after the fact. And they're like, and then we're like, oh my goodness, you know, what did what did we just do? What did we just create here? And and it's amazing because it is 50 years of integration. It couldn't have been a better time um, to really show Ole Miss what it is we're really all about. But really, I can't believe that the university is that much in love with me to let me take their most prized thing. I mean, this is, I mean, I know it sounds really dumb, but this is football. This is something that the SEC and the, and the South take really seriously. And they're saying, we want you. You're, you're our person. You're our go-to. You're our go-to person. And I don't think I could ever feel any happier. Like, I really feel like it's like, Take it all in because you're never going to have this moment again. And, and even though I'd love to do, you know, all these amazing things in the world, that this may be the most important thing I ever do in my life. And it's important because so many people have tried to do it before me and so many people have been turned down and so many people have been told, um, no, that you have no idea who, who you're inspiring. I mean, I was in the office of Oxford Middle School and, and one of the faculty and staff was like, you have no idea how much you've inspired me. You have no idea how much it means to me to see you walk across that field. And even though I may not think I'm a big deal, you know, to think that I'm inspiring people who are like 50 and 60 and 70 years old. It was very humbling to know that Ole Miss essentially had just as much love and dedication for me as I have for hers.